together at, at the same place as James Augustine Aloysius Joyce. I think you know his name completely, James Joyce. Yes? And here's the man. Right? We are going to have an encounter with him now. Let's show it. Yes? Yes. And uh, it, we, in his book, Dubliner, but something about him, you should know that he was born in 1882 and he died in 1941. He, died, he was born in Dublin, as Bernard Shaw and uh, as Oscar Wilde, yes, and others. And uh, he died of typhus at 58. Wow. Typhus. I don't know. It was very common here. I don't like scenes. I don't know. And uh, something. Uh, uh, he went to college at 17 years old to study. French, Italian, and English, but uh, he had, when he had very young, he wrote, he started his literary works, and he, and he, he got uh, some notability. He, he was really uh, considered like this, and uh, but as he was working, going on with his his life, he started to get a promiscuous life. And the college started going down, and then kept passing him to a lower category. The guy to, and he got his BA in Latin, yes. But uh, in spite of this, he became a great author. And uh, let me see if I. Uh, so this is the book, yes. Dubliners. It's a collection of 15 short stories. Yes, I read three of them. Yes, but I wish I had the time. Which I had had the time, yes. and uh, he goes on a uh, the, the literary modernist way, yes. and he, he doesn't want to sh prove things, he wants to keep you in doubt, he wants to uh, make things indefinite, yes. and uh, that there is always in his work uh, the, the idea of two, conscience, two consciences or more. Because he doesn't believe he, people have a pure nature or character or mind, and, uh, and as he was, he, and I believe it happened when he was at college. He at college um, was uh, ruled by Jesuits, Jesuits, the pronunciation, and uh, it, 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 a lot of criticism about this goes through all his art. All his uh, what things he writes, okay. Um, okay, universal. Where where is it? Yes, I can. Ah, oh, all right. Okay, here are the are the the short stories. Good, very thank you very much. <laughs> you great. And the short story, the sister, an encounter, Araby, Evelyn, after the race, Jew Gallon, the boarding house, little cloud, where are you, counterpart, play, painful case, uh, Ivy Day in the committee room, a mother, grace, the dead. The, the, I love this the most. But and uh, if you have, if you happen to to know about them, you can I can send you later. Okay. So the Dubliner, yes. Well, what do you see there? You see a blond man with a boy and another boy with a cat food. Yeah. Believe me, it's a cat. I thought it was a dog at the beginning. It was a cat. After I read the story, I discovered it. I found out it was a cat. And uh, so let's see. So you see, and then you come to the far west. In the United States, yes, if, if this kind of literature was forbidden in, in some areas, and uh, he, he said they used to read, they were not hidden way, they were hidden from everybody, yes, and the boys were usually like to play together with, uh, with toys for like uh, pretending they were a ninja battle, yes, and the far west, bam, bam, bam. And the author 
he doesn't identify himself. He doesn't identify him, but he identifies Joe and Mel, two boys he used to play with. And uh, Joe is the older brother, and they said he wanted to be a priest, that which, which he abominated. No, it's for not possible he wants to be a priest. Yeah? And uh, again, they have, they have the theme of two consciences, because he wants to be a priest, but he kept at his house uh, a uh, lot of li forbidden literature, yeah, what which uh, uh, James Joyce used to do himself too in the Jesuit college, yeah, a lot of for forbidden literature, and uh, uh, yeah, and they they used to play with that, and this motivated the author and the little boy to. Well, we, we want to be like them. Well, we can have like an adventurous life. But it's too boring. So he wanted to, what is this? Uh, to, to fight again the boredom and disappointment of life. Uh, this chronicles of disorder to take place in our life. Oh, let's have fun. And, uh, and we have to, have that wild sensation, yes? Yeah. And so they decided, they decided, oh no, not now. They decided to play truant one day, not to go to school. And let's do something different, yes? And, uh, opa. And it's common and in all the art of uh, Jenny Joyce, we have uh, the idea of, uh, he doesn't know if he believes, he doesn't believe. I believe it sometimes when it's convenient right. for me, when it's not, mm. yeah? And he says, there is a sentence here, Oh Lord, help my unbelief. I oh, want to not to believe. believe. Oh, so, oh, oh. Si what did I do? Now it's Oh uh, Lord, help my unbelief. Here, that is to help. Help me to believe. Help me to unbelieve, please. Yeah, I don't want to be common as everybody is. I don't want that to be a, a label. Yeah, everybody pretends to be. Yeah? Everybody show have something to sell. Yes, then let's go up. Oh, so they. So he, the two boys, Joe, the author who is not recognized, as, as I say, and he called that guy, another guy called Mahal, Mahali, Mahoni. They decided to meet at a bridge, at a bridge, at the canal bridge. Yes, they would, and they, uh, uh, they played Dutch, you know, and they went Dutch to decide uh, um, six pence for each boy to, for, for them to buy uh, what they, they wanted to do during the day. Six pence is like a one fiftieth, fortieth of, a, of a, uh, a pound, yeah? Like two, 200 pence, six pence is a pound, yeah? 200, yeah. Right? So, but uh, incredible how they spend the money, a lot of things. You could do a lot of things that I could, I could say to you, show you. So first, they, well, they took the Wharf Road. Well, a lot of the, a lot of Dublin, a lot of Dublin is in the the works of uh, James Joyce. Yeah? a lot of description. There are a lot of places uh, of Dublin. He shows in his art, I'm not gonna show all, but uh, this is uh, Wharf Street, yes? And they, they describe the people, he takes a lot of pleasure in the people and the places uh, of, of Dublin. He was a really Dubliner, he walked the hill. And uh, it was, and, and the other step, he would get, uh, what do you call the, um, what's the, Embarkations, ferry boat. <coughs> you get the ferry boat, they had to pay, okay, and they would, their, their target would be to get to 
the pigeon house. And it exists until today. Yeah. And so they went uh, at the bottom. So they, well, during the way, he was uh, as kids buying candies, yeah, buying things to drink, to eat, admiring the people. He always describes the behavior of people yeah, and the way people walk and uh, describing the city. So he really loves them. And, uh, and the small boy, the other boy, Mahan, he took a catapult. But why do you want a catapult? I, I want to, I want to hit birds. OK. That's uh, it's boy stuff, isn't it? So at first, ah, they, 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 they bought some currant buns. Currant, currant is that fruit, yeah? And the bun is this, a bun made of currant, yeah? And mm -hmm. uh, like boys, oh, they was, then they break the thing. Ah, they're eating, they're having fun, yeah, man. Oh, this trip is, this journey, this adventure is perfect for us. And uh, afterward, what was the other thing? Biscuits, chocolate, and afterward, uh, what's that? Raspberry lemonade, yes? It was for them, it was the end, it was perfect. They, 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 they were in the most, the most dangerous adventure of their life. Yeah, because they were playing truant, and they had to come back to come back home at, until four o'clock. At four o'clock, and uh, they decided to go back by train. So, so again, pay. So they bought a lot of things. With that, that sixpence. I don't know how money valorized today. Yeah. <laughs> so while there. And he wanted to go to the pigeon house. It was not possible to get because they got tired and got to talk too far away. He stayed, he stayed in the, they sat in a field in a slope. They were tired, resting, and uh, his friend started to run after dog, and dog now cat, <laughs> with the catapult. And suddenly, a man, a strange, oh, a strange, a strange man approached them, and he started to talk with them a lot about a lot of talks uh, about school, uh, the weather, and uh, some books, literature, and the, he made a link to a topic I believe that he wanted to talk about with the boy. What would it be? It would be about forbidden. Literature. Yes. Ah, but I can't. I would tell, I would tell them, I would tell you about everything, but except to the boys, huh? except forbidden literature. Ah, no, why not? Why not? No, no, no. no. Yeah, okay. And do you have a sweetheart? Do you have a girlfriend? What? Huh? You touch the girl, soft hair, soft hands, skin. Oh. And one of them was, no, I don't have. And the other said, I had three. Ah, you, how don't you have? <laughs> like, you know, like, how don't you have? Uh, I used to have a lot of them. And in this conversation, it was very strange that the boy started again running after the, dog, the, the cat. Yeah. And, uh, and, uh, and the man said, I. Let, wait, a, wait a minute, I'm going there for a minute. He went there, and the boys were strange. Oh, or if the man asks our names, give up, let's give up false names because it's strange. And then the man came back completely different, the two concepts, conscious, because he was very, well, 1914, speaking about uh, mm, some strange topics with kids. And suddenly he, he, he came back. What you're doing is wrong. You're running after animals. You're speaking about sweethearts at this age. It's wrong. Uh, if I, you deserve, uh, I forgot. I hear the man. 
<laughs> no, it's not the yeah. man. Yeah. Uh, you, you should be whipped. Huh? <laughs> it's all the boys. And he started to show how to whip you know, the stronger, the better, and, uh, to make the people suffer more. Yeah? That, that's an image of, I believe it's a movie. They made a movie of the, I think, a movie of uh, the, 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 at the short story. Yeah, but that, that's an, uh, a new version, no? And them again. Mm -hmm. Now, I believe this is the, the, the picture that, that shows the, a, back, a better description of the man, yeah? And another, you have a theater play with, uh, uh, they, they like this story because it begins in the What the man happened? What happened to him? Oh, no. You know, why, why did it change so, so hardly? What happened? Nobody knows. A lot of questions, and uh, there are the psychoanalysts right, who now love, that I love to, to, to describe their versions, right, uh, describe, and they, they believe that the man had some other intention, evil intentions, and they, he went up there because he could not resist, and he masturbated, there and he came back feeling guilty as we when often people masturbate as they feel guilty. I'm sorry to say that. <laughs> yeah. And they and then they said no, he wanted nobody to do that. And sometimes he would pass up some pets and the other he would have the same reaction again. So uh, you see the image of uh, James Joyce happening in this in this all his characters. So we could believe that he was, we could see in the boy who is describing this last, who is a man now, and also the man, why not we, opa, we believe to be the James Joyce himself, yeah? How confusing, confusion is my name, yeah? And that's it, thank you very much. All right, okay.